So I think it's a toss up between John Stewart and Stanimal, all of who which can leapfrog over one another. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muscle Discord, and I'm going to do my 2024 Van Pro Show Top 5 Predictions. And let's go through the list here. Uh, we got Saljo. I don't know if I'm saying that proper. Uh, Bendar. We have Tim Budesheim. Yi Shang Shen. We have Stanimals in the show. John Jewett. Hassan. That's not Hassan Mustafa. That's a different competitor. Uh, it looks like he's not doing the show. From what I can see, this is the final list the week before the show. So for some reason, I know Hassan's been training in Toronto, but I thought he was doing the Van Pro. He said he was doing the Van Pro, but I guess not. Something has come up. <clears throat> and we have Diogo Nunes, Jay Robinstrand, and Stuart Sutherland, a.k.a. Beef Stew, is in this show. So it's not the deepest lineup in the world, but it's a good lineup. It's a strong lineup. We know these guys are going to bring it. They want that qualification spot to the Olympia. <clears throat> So let me go into my fifth place prediction. It's going to be Tim Budesheim. Now, I, this is tough because Tim just always looks great. He's always shredded. He's always got, he's huge and peeled. Like, look at this, the back, the density, the Christmas trees there, the glutes, the hamstrings, the calves. He's got everything. But he's just not, he's either being overlooked at these shows. Um, I don't know what else I could say about that. He, he, his physique, yes, his waist, if you look at, there's a shot here, right here. Oh, it's front double bicep, right? And it's not the most streamlined looking physique. It's a hardcore, gnarly looking physique. Um, he's got some of the best quads in the game for bodybuilding. Very dense um great side chest like he's got really good shots that he can <clears throat> you would think he would beat some of the other guys that i'm gonna uh talk about in my predictions here great lat spread so maybe maybe this is to show that tim can take out some of these guys that he's not been able to surpass sorry and um maybe he can place a little higher in these shows because he's just not been able to get into that top three in any of these shows, even top four. So that's my fifth place prediction. Although he's kind of a wild card in this lineup, if someone's off, he can slip back up and move into that fourth or third, maybe even second. It just all depends on how these other guys are going to look. So let's go into my fourth place prediction. And this is also hard as well, because this guy always comes in shredded. <clears throat> and that's Mr. Robert Strand. Okay, fellow Canadian bodybuilder. Um, you know, he posts lots of updates. He's really active on his social media, which is great for us. Um, he placed third at the Toronto Pro. This is him five days out. If I'm correct, I think it was third. Um, third or fourth, I'd have to check back. But he did, did really well at the Toronto Pro show. It was really good for him. And um, he's looking just on the money here as well. Um, he really doesn't need to do anything more like condition wise he's always sh shredded and peeled for <clears throat> the shows that he enters it's just more so maybe lacking in the quads the front quads um, he looks great from the back still needs a little bit more back thickness um, but the hamstring and glutes look great conditioning like i said is always on par and yeah um, hassan mustafa's there training with him so i thought he was doing the show i don't know why he would stay in canada for so long and then not do a show and he's not and then the the van pro show also posted him standing next to stanimo like the battle of the repeat battle is going to happen again and <clears throat> it's a great tricep it doesn't look like it's going to happen this is one week ago these guys are training together so that's my prediction for fourth place but again here's a shot at the toronto pro um it's a good uh idea of like how he looks in once he drops his water right the quads just 
need a little, he needs a little bit more quad sweep, maybe a little bit more thickness in the quads. Um, he look, he looks like he does have a bicep tear, so that throws things off a little bit. Good side chest, good back double bicep. You know, real last spread maybe could use a little bit more width. Side triceps pretty good. He's got a nice tricep horseshoe shape there. Again, always showing that 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 conditioning from the back. You know, ab and thigh, you know, maybe a little bit of a weird structure into the ab, abdominal wall there. It looks like there may be a little bit of <clears throat> hernia issue happening there. Um, but yeah, he, he overall, he just looks great. Good most muscular. He always has a great most muscular. He didn't do a front of a bicep in this one. So that's where you can really see that <clears throat> when bicep is uh, torn there, which throws things, things off a little bit. But... That's my fourth place prediction, Robin Strand for the Van Pro 2024. Let's go to third. Now, this is tough. This is tough too. This is not any, it's not the deepest lineup, but it's not, it's not the easiest lineup to also predict because these guys are kind of close. Um, they're not huge mass monsters in there, but they all do usually come in condition. Um, <clears throat> So I have Stanimal in my third place prediction here. Okay. Now I think he just posted this. When did he post this? Okay, one day ago. So this is this is good. We're gonna see a good update here from Stanimal. Uh, he got second at the Van Pro last year, I think, to Hassan. Um, and he was just apt. I probably his best look he's had to date was at the Van Pro. And he went on to compete on several other shows throughout the year, doing very well. So Stanimal is on the rise. <clears throat> Looks like he's going to bring that conditioning again. Hamstrings and glutes. Back looks to, to be improved. Looks like he did put on some size to his frame. This is two days ago. So conditioning wise, if he doesn't bring that same level of conditioning that he brought to the Van Pro last year, he may not do as well. He Sanimal needs to just come in, peel to the bone, in shape. Um, he still needs to work on his biceps a little bit. He needs to get that bicep peak a little bit bigger. Could still use a little bit more development in the legs, in the quads, in the quad sweep. From the back, his legs look pretty good and always shredded. Um, but when you put on more size, sometimes you start to lose a little bit of that conditioning. You know, it doesn't. You kind of fall back on that because you put on that size. So hopefully uh, he can come in shredded. He looks really good here. Um, really, really vascular. So that is my third place prediction. It was tough. I Stan, he could win the show if he's on the money and, and maybe some of the other, other guys slip up. Um, but my second place prediction is going to Stuart Sutherland, a.k.a. Beef Stew. Um, that's my second place prediction for this show. You know, Beef's been, you know, he, the, the reason why I have him ahead of Stan, like, look at these shots right here. This is pretty crazy. Uh, he's got more dense muscle and more, more size, and he also brings that conditioning. Right, I think his his structure is a little bit better than the Stanimal, um, so that's why I'm putting him ahead of Stan, um, because you know I do prefer his structure. His bicep peaks look good, good, decent quad sweep. Um, his back double bicep still needs a little bit of work, and sometimes his glutes aren't peeled peeled, but they're good. Um, and it's overall, he brings enough density and size. Like he's big, he's bigger than Stan. So he's gonna have that conditioning and the structure and the shape to his physique to probably out muscle mass Stan while bringing a nice tight waist um, and overall size and shape. That should put him in that second place position. Could he win the show? Of course, he can win the show. But he's up against my first place prediction for this show, Mr. John Jewett. Now, John got second at the 2024 Toronto Pro Show to Akeem Williams. I actually had a John winning that show. I just really liked his physique uh, overall package compared to Akeem. 
but it was close. And um, this is John four days out from the Van Pro. So very, very 13 hours ago, very fresh update here from John. Like, look at the density in those hamstrings and glutes. Good lat spread, good side tricep. I think he's just bringing more <clears throat> density. I like his shape. He's got crazy quads compared to, say, uh, Stewart and Stanimal. And the conditioning is going to be on point, as we already see. And as we know, from what he brought to Toronto, got second. That's pretty good. Beat out Quinton. Beat out, you know, I think Tim was there. Beat out Robin Strand. So, obviously, I think he's going to continue that trend and stay ahead of these guys going into the show. And, and if he gets it, he's going to punch his ticket to the Olympia. Stewart still needs to qualify for the Olympia. That's how stacked this Olympia is going to be with this new system where they're just, you got to win the pro show to get qualified versus the old point system. You got to bring it and you got to win that show. So there's a, there's a, this could be a toss up either way. Could go to, could go to beef stew. It could go to uh Stanimal. I don't think uh, Tim would win this show. I don't think Robert Strand has enough with uh, to battle these guys to take this show. So I think it's a toss up between John Stewart and Stanimal, all of who which can leapfrog over one another in this uh, competition. So let me know your your thoughts, your predictions in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this show? Because I, I have a feeling there may be some different of opinion on who will win this show. Some of you may have beef winning the show. Some of you may have, even have Stanimo winning this show. Um, so leave a comment below. Who do you think is going to win the show? Or what is your top five? Put that in the comments. And uh, we're going to wrap this one up, guys. It's going to be a good show. Not the deepest lineup. But um, I appreciate you guys. And make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.